came to see what was causing all of that delightful noise. Yeah! <laughs> What's all the noise? Excuse us, your overbearance. We were just having a howling contest. I'm winning, but you need my help. <laughs> Face, you may be the best of this pathetic lot, but somewhere, at some time, I remember hearing better. Now, where? I know, <laughs> I know, <laughs> the Wailing Banshee. As I was about to say before, I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> The Wailing Banshee is the best whale of them all! When she wails, it causes thunderstorms, and all that thunder and lightning can knock out every telephone pole on Earth! <laughs> Earth's communications could be destroyed! <laughs> you mean... Of course, let's send for the Wailing Banshee and see if she can still do her old tricks. If she can, they might come in very handy. <laughs> Get the phone quick before Ansaphone gets it. <laughs> what can we do for you? I think it's what I can do for you. Hey, guys, it's Futura. I'll put her on the speaker. Hi, Futura. How's the future? Uh, the future's fine, but my sensors just picked up something weird escaping from the past. It came from 13th century Ireland, and it landed on Primeval's doorstep. <laughs> hey, it just moved again. This time, it's headed toward your time zone. Well, we haven't seen anything yet. But we'll let you know if we do. Great. I can always use an excuse to talk to you boys. Yeah, well, thanks, Futura. Bye. Wow! There must be a storm! That's funny. The sun was shining a moment ago. Now there's thunder and lightning. Paul's been knocked down. Whoa, what's that? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. At least our phone is still working. Which is more than I can say for you. <laughs> Hello, Ghostbusters. Oh, hi, Futura. Boy, you ought to see what's going on here. I know, Jake. My instruments show that you're being attacked by a wailing banshee. I'm glad it has a name, but how do we get rid of it? You sit tight. I'll be right there. Ago. You boys were busy, so I started reading this file. What did you find out? Well, it says here that the only ones who know how to banish banshees are leprechauns from the same time period. Leprechauns? Hey, aren't they the ones who always keep a pot of gold? Yeah, but you have to capture them before you can get any gold. <laughs> We're going to get rid of that banshee. We need a leprechaun's help more than we need his gold. Right. Let's go. Go.
quick! Mm. We're in a hurry, Tracy! Look out! How many more seconds until we start back in time? What's that? Your IQ? <laughs> Now, what are those infernal fools doing? They're going forward in time. No, they're going backward in time. Anybody can see that. Forward, backward. Right. They must be going to look for a leprechaun. Leprechauns have power over banshees. Excuse me, your overindulgence. <laughs> what does a leprechaun look like? They're small, ugly, funny looking. Shouldn't we be doing something to stop them? No, let them go. They'll never find a leprechaun. Oh, yes, they will, because I'm going to put one there. <laughs> Fib face, you're going to be the leprechaun those silly ghost bunglers are looking for. Me? A leprechaun? Exactly. <laughs> I'm sending you special airmail to a haunted castle in Ireland. <laughs> Get the Ghostbusters so confused they won't remember their own names. <laughs> hey, Ireland is really a nice place. Too bad we just can't forget about that Whalen Banshee and, and visit here. But we can't. We've got to find a leprechaun who will tell us how to get rid of it. And we've got to find one fast, or the Earth will be nothing but water. I'm pooped. Can't we stop and charge up our battery? Yeah, why don't we find a gas station? We can ask directions to the nearest leprechaun. Eddie, this is 13th century Ireland. They don't have gas stations. Then where do they buy their candy bars? I'll tell you what they do have. Look! A castle! Yeah, I don't think they have candy bars in that place. Stop complaining and let's go. Maybe someone in that castle will know where we can find a leprechaun. Shh. Hey, you guys! Excellent, excellent. They're going right to the castle where Fib Face is. <laughs> and the longer they talk to Fib Face, the more confused they'll become. <laughs> and the more time the Wailing Banshee has to flood the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody home? Maybe. Maybe not. Would you please open the door? It's important. You'd be looking for a leprechaun, wouldn't you? Well, there's none in here. But me. This is getting confusing. Well, ask him. Ask him what? If he'll tell us how to banish the Banshee. Nah, me lassie, why be you bothering the poor Banshee? Take no harm in a little rain. Something's funny here. My nose is twitching. Maybe there's a skunk. More likely a rat. This is some kind of bad magic. Even I can feel it. I better get us out of here. <laughs> the leprechaun. I don't think that was a leprechaun. He was trying to trick us. But why? Yeah. Who would want to trick us? Prime Evil! You have failed me, Fipface. You let the Ghostbusters escape. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Leader. I thought I had him thoroughly confused. I know I had me confused. How come you got two faces? But only half a brain! <laughs> Let's look at 
the dark side. The Ghostbusters can't do anything about the Wailing Banshee until they find a real leprechaun. And in a short while, <laughs> my Banshee will have knocked down every telephone line there is. <laughs> It'll be the greatest <laughs> busy signal the world has ever seen. <laughs> Time is running out. We gotta find a leprechaun. Yeah, but how? I got it. Remember what all leprechauns are supposed to have? <laughs> no, leprechauns don't have bananas. A pot of gold. What about it? Well, where's the one place you can always find a pot of gold? At the end of a rainbow. Right, look. There's a rainbow. Now let's find the end of it. There it is, the end of the rainbow. Come on, let's take a closer look. You can see right through it. I think I see something inside. It is a pot of gold. See, I told you. So it's me gold you're after having, is it? You ought to know better than to steal a leprechaun's pot of gold. That's very bad luck. I know what it looks like, but we don't want your gold. We only want your help, Mr. Uh... Kelpie. Just Kelpie, if you please. And it's a fool you'll be taking me for if you say you don't want me gold. I had to find a banshee for that gold, and I'll not be giving it away so easily. <laughs> Gotcha now! I think I'd rather see a rainbow from the outside. Listen, guys. We've got to get out of here. Who knows what damage that banshee has done by now. Dang, I wish we could make that leprechaun listen to reason. Tracy, is there anything you can do to get us out of here? <laughs> Enjoying this little visit. You may be foolish gold robbers, but you're very entertaining. <laughs> yep, sorry, Tracy. I guess leprechauns do have bananas. Come on, guys. This is no time for banana talk. We have to get out of this rainbow. Yeah, but how? There must be a way. I mean, after all, a rainbow is only reflecting light from the sun. Yeah. If we could somehow reflect it back to the sun. What about it, Tracy? <laughs> Good job, Tracy. You bet! You were wonderful. <laughs> you tricked me! Leprechauns shouldn't be tricked! Leprechauns do the tricking! No, Kelpie. You forced us to do this. All we wanted was your help. All you wanted was me gold, you mean. Now you can take it, and I can't be stopping you. But we don't want your gold, Kelpie. We just want your help. A banshee is terrorizing the place we come from. Could it be the truth you've been telling me? Use your mirror again, Tracy. Let Kelpie go. Wonder of wonders! <laughs> Honest mortars! If you help me hide me gold, I will help you! <laughs> That's great! We'll bust that banshee! We don't want your gold, Kelpie, but there is one other thing we'd like from you. And what might that be? Would you please give Tracy a banana? With pleasure! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! There's the storm. That must be where the banshee is. Looks like a big one. That's for certain. What can we do to help you? Use your imagination. It's pure imagination that makes the rainbow and arrow work. If you wish hard enough for a rainbow, you'll be seeing it. And we need a big one, but you've got to believe in it. We're getting close. 
You don't really need me. Why don't you just let me out before we get any closer? Too late. There's the Banshee. <laughs> a great favor. Tracy will take you back to old Ireland. And Tracy, don't stop along the way. Oh, we don't have to be stopping. I've got plenty of bananas. <laughs> Sit on me, Skelly. See, folks, it's just like today's show. Kelpie thought the Ghostbusters were after his gold, and he was wrong. We were after his help. One of the best gifts you can give somebody is to help them. So, Jake, uh, could you adjust my horizontal hold for me? Oh, thanks, Jake. That feels better. You sure you don't want any money? <laughs> 